This is V and I've just spent the last few days reading a book called Graveyard Shift by Michael F. Haspel. So this book takes place in an alternate version of Miami where creatures like vampires and shapeshifters exist and everyone knows about them because of an event called The Reveal which happened about two years before this story uh, begins. So during this event, the vampires basically announced to the world that they were not, in fact, mythical creatures. And this sort of began the movement towards integrating vampires into regular human society. This was made possible because of the discovery of a type of fake blood which contained enough of the key components of real human blood that vampires can use it as a legitimate substitute, like it actually helps them deal with their thirst. And this also sort of instigated the creation of an entirely new police department responsible specifically for all crimes that involve vampires and sometimes other supernatural beings. So this is a detective story and the main character is a cop in this division called Alex. Uh, technically, I would say that he's a kind of zombie, like he's a reanimated pharaoh, but he has some characteristics that are somewhat atypical of zombies. So for instance, he gets his energy from the sun, so during the day he'll absorb all this energy and it makes him really strong and he'll also look more or less human. But like overnight as he uses up this energy he starts to look more and more like a corpse so if he uses up all of the energy he has stored up he essentially looks like a mummy again until you stick him in the sun at which point he absorbs it and uh, turns back into what appears to be a human being then you have his partner who is an ancient vampire called marcus so vampires are divided into I think it sounds like about three general categories that uh, delineate like age and power. So you have what they call new bloods, which are like the relatively recently turned vampires. You have old bloods, which are mm, old enough and strong enough to be a bigger concern. And then you have ancients, which are very rare, extremely old and very powerful. So for instance, Marcus is like what, 2000, I think it was. So the story uh, has basically two big investigations going on. So the first one begins when Alex is called to the scene of an unexpected vampire attack where a vampire just sort of went crazy out of nowhere in the middle of the day. And it turns out that this has been happening with unusual frequency throughout the city and no one really knows why and obviously like unexpected bouts of craziness with like vampires is a big concern. Then we have uh, the case involving an anti-vampire group that has been traced to Miami which calls itself Abraham and this group has been well killing vampires and also sometimes humans that associate with vampires. So for instance people who willingly donate their blood at um, these like different vampire clubs and stuff. So uh, I guess something I liked about this story would be just kind of seeing the friendship between the two main characters. Like they obviously know each other extremely well and this creates a, a kind of ease in the way they interact and the way they approach their like casework that I kind of enjoyed. Like there's I think just something nice about um, seeing I guess two people work together who know each other, like their each other's personalities, each other's strengths, each other's weaknesses, and like you know when you need to compensate, like when the other person is having trouble, and just kind of seeing that interaction was something that I kind of enjoyed. But something I did not like was that this story did uh, turn out to have quite a bit of graphic everything, and especially like quite a bit of violence. And in particular, it had a pretty strong streak of what I would consider horror, like extremely grisly crime. So think really graphic murder, torture, and like human trafficking. So a lot of that I did not really like to read about. And I think it made the story extremely dark. Like the tone of the entire story was 
dark like there were some points of humor but overall it was just dark and it well you lean towards the kind of you know like big conspiracies and like mm, the kind of thing where there is a lot of fighting a lot of people getting killed and stuff like that so yeah that's basically it for this book and thanks for listening to bite-sized book reviews